welcome back my dear students today we are going to learn how to draft a reference to arbitration and secondly how to draft a deed of arbitration first of all my dear students we must understand what arbitration is when parties agree to have their disputes decided with the mediation of a third person but with all formalities of a judicial adjudication this process is known as arbitration thus in other words arbitration is the reference of a dispute or a difference between not less than two parties for determination after hearing both the sides in a judicial manner by a person or persons other than court of competent jurisdiction so court is not involved in deciding the matter by arbitration and the dispute which is to be decided by arbitration must be a dispute of civil nature because criminal matter cannot be referred to arbitration we have my dear students the arbitration and conciliation act 1996 for this purpose which was enacted to consolidate and amend the law relating to domestic arbitration then international commercial arbitration and enforcement of foreign awards and for defining the law relating to conciliation also this act had come into force with effect from 25th january 1996 and this act has abolished the old arbitration act of 1940 my dear students this arbitration and conciliation act of 1996 is the best example of alternative dispute resolution mechanism in india commonly known as adr and this act takes into account the united nations commission on international trade law also now my dear students what is an arbitration agreement you see arbitration agreement means an agreement by the parties to submit to arbitration all or certain disputes which have arisen or which may arise between them in future in respect of a defined legal relationship whether contractual or not this arbitration agreement may be in the form of an arbitration clause in a contract or it may be in the form of a separate arbitration deed also but arbitration agreement shall be in writing oral arbitration agreement is not allowed this is the mandate of section 7 clause 2 and 3 of arbitration and conciliation act of 1996 that the arbitration agreement shall always be in writing now dear students this arbitration agreement may be contained in a document signed by the parties that is a deed of arbitration or it may be inferred from exchange of letters telex telegrams or other means of communication which provide record of the agreement or it may be inferred from an exchange of statement of claims and defenses in which the existence of agreement is alleged by one party and not denied by the other the reference in a contract to a document containing an arbitration clause constitutes an arbitration agreement if the contract is in writing and the reference is such as to make that arbitration clause part of the contract so these are the various ways where the where you can find arbitration agreement now so far as a form of arbitration agreement or form of deed of arbitration is concerned so the legal position my dear students is that arbitration agreement is not required to be in any particular form what is required to be ascertained is whether parties have agreed that if dispute arises between them in respect of the subject matter of contract then that dispute shall be referred to arbitration 
so such an arrangement of arbitration or arbitration clause contained in an arbitration agreement such an arrangement is known as arbitration and we have a, a decided case on this point also rukmani bai versus collector and the ratio decedendi of this case says <coughs> that such an arrangement would amount to arbitration agreement this was decided by the supreme court way back in 1981 now dear students if a matter is pending before civil court whether that matter can be referred to arbitration or not if there was an agreement for arbitration between the parties so so far as power of judicial authority or the court civil court to refer the matter to arbitration is concerned a judicial authority before which an action is brought in a matter which is subject of an arbitration agreement shall on the application of the party if the party so applies not later than when submitting his first statement on the substance of the dispute refer the parties to arbitration and this application for reference shall be accompanied by the original arbitration agreement or its duly certified copy the arbitration proceedings may be commenced continued and arbitral award can be made even if the matter is pending before the civil court now so far as the number of arbitrators is concerned the parties are free to determine the number of arbitrators provided that such number shall not be an even number it has to be odd number if parties have not appointed arbitrators as a forset then arbitral tribunal shall consist of sole arbitrator arbitral tribunal here means a sole arbitrator or a panel of arbitrators in accordance with section 2b of arbitration and conciliation act of 1996 now what about the decision making by panel of arbitrators if there is a sole arbitrator then his decision is final but if there are panel of arbitrators then any decision of the arbitral tribunal in a arbitral proceedings with more than one arbitrator shall be made by majority of its members unless otherwise agreed by the parties so it is a majority decision which will prevail now whether the award given by the arbitrators is final court has no power to look into the matters yes court has power to set aside the award also an application for setting aside an award may be made to the court on the ground of incapacity of the parties invalidity of the agreement want of proper notice for appointment of arbitrators or on the ground of composition of the arbitral tribunal was not in accordance with agreement of the parties all these grounds are mentioned in section 34 of the act now how to enforce this award given by the arbitrators this award given by the arbitrators is enforceable as a decree of the civil court under order 21 of cpc this is also mandated by section 34 of the act you see dear students that in this new act the role of the court has been minimized supervisory role of the court has been minimized in the new act and there is no need of filing of the award in the court rather there is no provision in the new act for filing of the award in the court and the institution of empire in the old act of 1940 has been replaced by presiding arbitrator in the new act of 1996 dear students normally the number of arbitrator as i told you shall not be even even number means divisible by 2 so their number should be odd and in the absence of an agreement between the parties in an agreement with three arbitrators each party shall appoint one arbitrator and the two appointed arbitrators 
shall appoint the third arbitrator who shall act as presiding arbitrator. So dear students, with this much knowledge at the back of our mind, now we will start the drafting of reference to arbitration. How do you refer the matter to the arbitrators? So center heading will be reference to arbitration and arbitration agreement to refer the dispute to two arbitrators. You are referring your matter to two arbitrators. So opening line will be drafted like this, that this agreement is made and entered into between A son of B, resident of flat number 906 Designers Park, sector 62 Noida, district Gautam Buddha Nagar UP, first party, and X son of Y, resident of 52 Lajpat Nagar, New Delhi, second party. On this first day of 2017, this agreement witnesses as follows. Whereas this para tells you the history of reference, why you are making reference. Whereas the difference and disputes regarding profit and losses and the capital invested have arisen between the parties above mentioned regarding the business of electrical goods being carried on at shop number 109 at the first floor of GIP Mall, Sector 18, Noida, District Gautam Buddha Nagar, UP, and the parties could not mutually settle the matter. So this is a history as to why you are going to make reference to arbitration. <coughs> Second para, now the parties have agreed that the matter as under be referred to the arbitration to obtain an award. Now the terms and conditions, para one. For the purpose of final determination of the dispute, matter will be referred to Mr. Justice A.B., son of C.D., resident of house number nine, sector 105, Noida, district Gautam Buddha Nagar, UP, retired judge of High Court of Judicature at Allahabad, nominated by the first party. So this arbitrator is nominated by the first party. And second arbitrator, Mr. Justice E.F., son of G.H., resident of house number 11, sector 105 Noida, district Gautam Buddha Nagar, UP, retired judge of High Court at Delhi, nominated by the second party as arbitrators. And their award shall be final and binding on the parties. So dear students, you will see that one retired High Court Judge of Allahabad High Court is appointed as arbitrator by the first party and second judge, retired judge of High Court at Delhi is nominated as arbitrator by the second party. Para two. If differences should arise between the said arbitrators on the questions referred to them, the said arbitrator shall appoint a third arbitrator called as presiding arbitrator who was known as Empire in the old act, and the award shall be given by the presiding arbitrator. That award shall be final, and both the parties hereby agree that the award so given by the presiding arbitrator or arbitrator shall be binding on both the parties. Third, a reasonable time limit may be fixed after consulting the arbitrators for the grant of the award by them and presiding arbitrator if appointed. And the set time may be extended in consultation with the arbitrators or presenting arbitrator if required. Para four, the provisions of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act 1996, so far as applicable and as are not inconsistent or repugnant to the purposes of this reference, shall apply to this reference to arbitration. Para five. Both the parties agree that they would cooperate and lead evidence, etc., before the arbitrators so appointed as expeditiously as possible. And it is an express condition of this agreement that if any of the parties do not cooperate or remain absent at the reference, the arbitrators would be at liberty to proceed with reference ex parte. 
the party is not turning up they will decide the matter in the absence of the parties also there are six the parties here to agree that this reference to arbitration would not be revoked either by the death of either party or on account of any other cause there are seven if the arbitrators or any of them as chosen under this agreement become incapacitated either by death or sickness or other disability the parties shall have the right of nominating their respective substitutes and no fresh agreement therefore would be necessary all right it is an express stipulation that any award passed by the said arbitrator shall be binding on the parties their heirs executors and legal representatives there are nine having agreed to the above by both the parties the said parties have affixed their signatures to this deed or this agreement on this first day of january 2017 at noida district gautam buddh nagar up para 10 the main dispute between the parties which has arisen is with reference to the distribution of profits and losses in the ratio of their capital investment the rendition of accounts and balance money to be paid to the parties now signature of first party are required and then signature of second party are also required on this deed of reference to arbitration so dear students this is how a deed of reference to arbitration is to be drafted by you now moving further uh, based on the same uh, knowledge of the act now we proceed to draft an arbitration deed or deed of arbitration again the beginning has to be done in the same manner this deed of arbitration is made on this first day of january 2017 between a son of b first party a resident of flat number 906 designers park sector 62 noida district gautam buddh nagar up her in after called as the first party and number 2 x son of y resident of 52 lajpat nagar new delhi her in after called as the second party now the paragraph beginning with whereas is the history as to why you are making this deed so whereas the first and second parties have been carrying on the business of sales and purchase of electrical goods being carried on at shop shop number 109 at first floor of gib mall sector 18 noida district gautam buddh nagar up in partnership under the name and style vijay electronics since 11 2010 and whereas both the parties had invested equal capital at the beginning of the business and whereas both the parties have equal share of profit and loss in the partnership business and whereas differences have arisen between the parties and now it has become impossible to carry on the business under partnership so these are the reasons and history as to why you are going to draft a deed of arbitration on behalf of your client and whereas there is another reason and whereas the parties aforesaid have agreed to refer the matters hereunder to two arbitrators namely mr justice ab son of cd resident of house number 9 sector 105 noida district gautam buddh nagar up retired judge of high court of judicature at allahabad nominated by the first party and mr justice ef son of gh resident of house number 11 sector 105 noida district gautam buddh nagar up a retired judge of high court at delhi nominated by the second party for their decision so up to this paragraph this was the history of deed of arbitration now the deed starts operative portion of the deed starts now this deed of arbitration witnesses as under para 1 that the profit and loss account of the partnership business shall be prepared 
under the supervision of aforesaid arbitrators. <clears throat> that the liability is to pay the dues of the creditors by the parties shall be settled by the arbitrators on settlement of the account. So this work is to be done by arbitrators. Para three, that the arbitrators shall decide the date on which the partnership firm shall be deemed to be dissolved. Para four, that the arbitrator shall decide the matter within four months. But in case matter is not decided within four months, the time to make awards shall be extended by mutual consent of the parties. Para five, that the arbitrators are entitled to appoint a presiding arbitrator. They have the power to appoint a presiding arbitrator when they require during the period in which they are required to make arbitration award. Para six, that if arbitrators are unanimous in giving award and they have agreed among themselves on the matter of dispute, then their award shall be final. But if they differ in their opinion on the disputed matter, then presiding arbitrator, that is empire, shall decide the matter and the award given by the presiding arbitrator shall be binding on the parties. <sighs> Para seven, the arbitrator shall issue notice to the parties for appearance to clear the position of the dispute and produce evidences which they think proper. But if the parties do not appear, arbitrators shall decide the matter ex parte. Para eight, this deed of arbitration shall be binding on the legal representatives, assignees and heirs of the parties in case of death of the either party. This is a usual clause in a deed of arbitration. Para nine, the arbitrators may, if they deem fit necessary, appoint an accountant for finalization of the accounts and they shall fix the remuneration of the accountant which shall be included in the cost of arbitration. Mm -hmm. So if matter is a big one, then accountant may be appointed. Para 10. On the arbitration award, if any sum is due towards any of the parties, then the party in whose favor award is given may apply to the court for a decree upon the award and its execution thereof. This is the normal procedure that if award is given, then party may apply to the civil court for a decree based on award and then execution of the decree according to <coughs> order 21 of CPC will take place. Para 11, that except the matters provided in this agreement, the provisions of Arbitration and Conciliation Act 1996 shall apply to the present arbitration. Para 12, that it shall be the discretion of the arbitrators to fix the cost of this reference. The last paragraph is, the above named parties do hereby agree to all the terms and conditions stated above without any duress, caution or undue influence and after fully understanding the terms of this deed of arbitration and they bind themselves with their respective heirs, assignees and legal representatives and hereby put their hands on this on 1st day of January 2017 in the presence of following witnesses. So signatures, <coughs> signature of the first part, A son of B, are required on this deed. Similarly, the signature of second party, X son of Y, are also required on this deed. Then in the presence of witness number one, his signatures are required and complete address of witness number one, like C son of D, a resident of flat number 510 Designers Park, sector 62 Noida, Gautam Budhnagar, UP. And witness number two, his signatures are also required with complete address like E son of F, flat number 511 Designers Park, sector 62 Noida, district Gautam Budhnagar, UP. Place of drafting you will mention as Noida and date of drafting is 1-1-2017.
2020. And who has drafted this deed? The name of the advocate is also to be mentioned here. Drafted by ABC advocate and signatures of ABC advocate are also required on this deed. So dear students, this is how a deed of reference to arbitration and an arbitration deed can be drafted by you. Thank you very much. Thank you, dear students.